Hello everyone and welcome to the official trailer for Season 3 of the Elite Battle League. It's Infernoman here, willfully stepping in to be your guide for the next exciting season of your favorite Pokemon VGC League on YouTube. Right before we get started, no matter which channel you're watching this on, hopefully the coach put all 11 other coaches' links down in the description. And if it isn't from the EBL channel, they put the link to that as well. If they did, make sure to subscribe to every coach to keep up with the whole league this season. Did you do it? Good. Let's get into the rules. So to start off the trailer, we must of course explain the best part of any league, the rules. Fun, right? Well, to start us off, each coach must draft 9 Pokemon, two of which can only be two of the four subcategories of legendaries, Primary, Mythical, Ultra Beast, and Pseudo. For example, Mew and Buzzwool can be chosen, but Mew and Jirachi can't because Duke categories are also not allowed. Alongside this, all 9 drafted Pokemon must be brought at least once during the regular season. If Matt doesn't bring his Weavile by week 5, for example, he has no choice but to bring it that week. The next rule is no held items. The Commissioner designed this rule to diversify the EBL from other leagues and bring an extra challenge. Furthermore, every coach will play 5 matches in the regular season. 3 will be against someone from their own division, the other 2 will be someone from the opposite division. Teams will be seated in the playoffs based on record unless there is a tie, which will be decided by a kill to death ratio. If that is also a tie, it will be decided by a head to head matchup. Every match must be uploaded to YouTube on Saturday of the seasonal week based on Eastern Standard Time, therefore are ideally recorded from Tuesday to Friday prior. Last but not least, there is a new rule with consequences this season. If a coach is to stall their opponent by delaying their move on purpose, their kill to death ratio will be swapped with their opponent. If it happens a second time, you lose automatically with a negative 3 kill to death ratio. If you somehow decide it's okay to do it a third time, well, Buster Brown, you're disqualified from the playoffs. Failure to compete in, record, and upload the rest of your matches before the regular season ends will result in being kicked from the Elite Battle League permanently. Sound intimidating? Don't worry. Here's a surprise bonus rule. Have fun. The EBL exists to make friends and have fun battling them, so this rule is super important. Now that the rules have been discussed, let's move on to the coaches. Who they are, who they coach, and what they drafted. We'll kick this off with the Dynamax division, starting off with the 31-year-old coach of the Atlanta Braviary, our commissioner, Matty Ice. Matt is a security officer, dad of three married to Evie Girl, aka the coach of the EBL's very own San Diego Selvions. Their channel is a family channel they work on together with their kids playing Nintendo games, as well as a Twitch channel where they play PlayStation games, and a TikTok account for fun short clips. Matt's team consists of the returning seasonal MVP Kartana, as well as Dragapult, Togekiss, Weavile, Alakazam, Arcanine, Glalie, Klefki, and Starmie. Matt was not kidding when he said he wanted to be the champ this season. A couple of fairy types to ward off the dragons and the return of the season 2 MVP could mean a lot more for the Braviary. Let's just hope his sucking up to Timmy B with that Starmie pick doesn't hold him back. Next up is the 26 year old newcomer from Texas, known as Alan or the Doorman here on YouTube. The coach of the Texas Tyranitar's channel primarily focuses on themed Nuzlocks like his Avatar Lock to give you an example, as well as Fakemon ROM hacks which is the bulk of his content nowadays. His channel is a safe space for everyone to be who they are, which is a kahuna promise. Starting off his team is to no surprise a Tyranitar, followed by Stack Attacka, Sandaconda, Ryu Nicholas, Seismitoad, Dracovish, S Cavalier, Heliolisk, and a midday form Lycanroc. With this team we see a couple of returning metas, Sand and Trick Room. Will this combo of dangerous metas intertwine to blow away the competition? He fights me week one, so I can't wait to see how he begins. Next up is another newcomer, and our first overseas competitor, 31-year-old Pokey Pidge, coach of the Essex Espeons. Pidge's content is a mix of comedy and Pokemon which contains scripted videos, a metronome tournament, collaborative content, and general gaming tips, hints, and reviews. You will find nothing short of Pokemon content on his channel, and he's British! Pidge is representing Essex this season by bringing in a team of returning challenges of the past, including Dialga, Rillaboom, Toxapex, Snorlax, Mew, Orbeetle, Cantonian Ninetales, Comfey, and my dearly missed Alolan Raichu. As you can see, Pidge was a fan of the league prior to his introduction as a coach because he knew just what to draft. Will he be utilizing his team as well as the coaches of the previous season? Sliding right into the next coach, the brawn with the beard, also known as my great friend Derek Videos, returning coach of the Kentucky Kingler and director of the channel known as Always More Videos. Derek is a 27 year old machine whose content mostly focuses on Nintendo Switch content, primarily in the Pokemon region of things, but will shortly consist of PlayStation content as well. Derek wants to make sure after getting second place last season that he will go high and reign champion once and for all. To ensure no one would oppose him as a threat, he has drafted Cinderace once more, which is joined by Pelipper, Politoed, Beresuta, Kingdra, Amistar, Ludicolo, Palkia, and Keldeo. 
It is quite clear Derek is taking after the Chicago score bunnies in season 1 with this drizzle team. The real question is how well he can pull it off without deciding he can't do it without the bunny. The fifth coach of this division is another great friend of mine, the 27 year old coach of the TJ Gengar's Latin Luigi. Luigi's content primarily consists of Pokemon and horror games with a little taste of Super Smash Bros. He says it's hot garbage, but I'm a huge fan of it. At least we can agree it's better content than Smoosh. The current season, Luigi has drafted Gengar, Swampert, Lucario, Volcarona, Mandibuzz, Ndidi, Xerneas, Como, -Oh, and Rotom Mo. I see a team full of unused Pokemon that surprisingly haven't been seen in the league before as well as some heavy hitters that could definitely be utilized well. Will Luigi's first stab at VGC be a success? Last but not least, closing off the Dynamax division is the 18 year old coach of the Iowa Incineroar, yours truly, the one and only, Landon aka Infernoman. My content has always been wrapped around my love for Pokemon, including Nuzlocke challenges, scripted videos, collaborations, theories, and above all else, shiny hunting. There's a reason I'm known as the Shiny King around here. I also like to focus on other Nintendo content and a little bit outside of the box such as Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, anything else you can think of. My thing when it comes to the EBL is making sure all 9 of my drafted team members are Shiny Pokemon. And to do so, I get a little help from our friend Offline Nuzlocke to decide which of my Shinies could do well on the battlefield. This season, you're in Center where I've drafted Tapu Koko, Celesteela, and Center where, of course, Johto and Slowking, Tangrowth, Vanillix, Hitmontop, Noivern, and Tyrantrum. I know drafting dragons this day and age is very risky when fairy types exist, but I'm very excited to see how I can use my entire team to my advantage this season and bring you guys better results than season 2. There's just one thing to say, beware the thunder chicken. Moving on from the Dynamax division leads us to the Mega division, starting off with the 26 year old coach of the Akron Axes, Joey aka Isomorphic, but you can just call him Iso. He's a Pokemon Unite streamer who's working on going pro. You can see Akron this season with a team consisting of Rapid Strike Urshifu, Gastrodon, Hippowdon, Clefable, Umbreon, Crobat, Galvantula, and Haxorus. This team has a few bulky mons, one of them being a very ideal type combo to draft, Water Ground. Iso is another newcomer coach this season, so make sure to keep an eye out for how his first season goes. Next up is another returning coach who's been around since the beginning, the 27 year old coach of the Detroit Luxrays, Max aka Game Reviews. Max's channel is a Pokemon game let's play channel who, just like our friend Alan, prefers to focus on fan games, but he admits how much he wants to be a shiny hunter. Getting there Max, trust me. He wanted me to mention how the Luxrays are going to be pulling off the championships within this season just like the Lions are in the 2022-23 season in the NFL, but as a competitor and fan of the Chicago Bears, I can't say that with a straight face, so all I will say is maybe Max can finally win some matches this season. Sorry, maybe that was too harsh. Sorry Max. I'm sure Max will do just fine this season considering his team consists of Mimikyu, Blaziken, Salamence, Quagsire, Shekel, Roserade, Magnezone, Espeon, and Galarian Moltres. Considering Dark Salamence last season was the reason I lost the playoffs, that should be enough of a sign Max's team is powerful. Will he be the one to win it all though? Sliding into another OG coach's team, next up is the 29 year old coach of the Miami Dragonites, Humberto aka Guanaco Gaming. He's yet another Pokemon content creator who also focuses on all kinds of video game content such as Assassin's Creed and Legend of Zelda. He is known as Lionel Spain in Breath of the Wild just to give you a little bit of perspective. This season, Humberto has drafted Eternatus, Zarude, Galarian Darmanitan, also known as Garmanitan, Beartake, Whimsicott, Excadrill, Dustform Lycanroc, Blastoise, and Charizard. Guanaco has won 2 out of 2 of the current seasons of the Elite Battle League, and has been doing VGC since Pokemon Emerald, a game that came out when I was just a year old. Will he be taking yet another trophy with him, or will the sentence I just said make him feel so old that he can't continue properly? Next up is the 31 year old coach of the San Diego Sylveons, Tara aka Eevee Girl. She is a baker, proud mom of 3, and coincidentally is married to Maddie Ice. Our coach of the Atlanta Braviary and commissioner of the league. The Sylveons are technically newcomers this season as they took over the Redwood Meowths team last season, but are coming in with their own drafted picks this season. The picks mentioned are Sylveon, Kyogre, Gudra, Corviknight, Chandelure, Zorark, Steelix, Leafeon, and Galarian Rapidash. A few of San Diego's picks were sniped during the draft, but the team still seems to be on its feet after this incident. How far will we see the Sylveons go this season? Following up San Diego coincidentally is the 21-year-old coach of the Redwood Meowths, Forsaken Ace. His channel is mostly around to upload his matches for the league, but in his spare time he likes playing anything Pokemon, Rise of Kingdoms, Mario Kart, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat 11, Call of Duty, and Clash Royale. He likes to bully Guanaco, is a supervisor for a receiving team, and praises Meowth as a god. 
you can see the Meowths this season coaching Groudon, Dragonite, Lapras, Amoongus, Toxtricity, Talonflame, Gardevoir, Stonejourner, and Dracozolt. Quite a few good looking mons on the Meowths this season, but there is a single question begging to be asked. Will the Meowths be using their team to focus on taking down Guanaco just as they admittedly were in the previous season, or will Ace be looking to get his hands on the trophy? I sense a bit of both. Last but not least, the final coach of the Mega Division and the league as a whole is the 29-year-old coach of the Indiana Igly Buffs, Bob, aka Yeltneb. His content consists of Pokemon with even more on the way. This season you can find Indiana rolling the dice with Single Strike Urshifu, Ferrothorn, Naganadel, Rotom Wash, Scissor, Halucha, Grimmsnarl, Flygon, and Primarina. This is quite the team of iconic mons from the past, but we can also see the introduction of Naganadel in the league. Bob is the guy who spent the last two seasons teaching Derek how to battle in VGC, so you can expect this newcomer will have quite the season. Well guys, there you go. Now you know every single team drafted by each coach of the EBL for Season 3, and a taste of who they are, what they enjoy, and what you may expect from each of them in the upcoming weeks. We are all excited to see you in Week 1, but in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to all 12 coaches as well as the Elite Battle League channel. The ABL channel will consist of the weekly roundups hosted by yours truly and it's really Zimmy B, as well as the power rankings and much more. This is Inferno Man burning out, reminding you to mark your calendars for February 5th. Goodbye.